Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. A smart classroom accommodation for students in outlying regions and other infrastructural development at the Bertram College of Public Service are on the cards. This comes on the heels of a meeting hosted on Monday with the newly appointed director, Dr. Mark Curtin, Public Service Minister, the Honorable Tabitha Sarabu Halley, and other staff. Here's more. I had a meeting with them. I think they're very keen and um, they're working assiduously alongside the lecturers. Well, I commend the staff for ensuring the continuity of the delivery of the program by distance. Once we work together, we can ensure that the student, there's no slippage, no gap in relation to delivery. After a tour of the institution, Dr. Curtin noted that there are a few areas he is considering, especially the establishment of a smart classroom, among other infrastructural development. There's a classroom that is already beginning to become a smart classroom that will be necessary in, you know, to ensure that down the road we can have somebody teaching a, pro a course from anywhere in the world. And so that will enhance the quality of the program. The officials are also looking at accommodation to house students residing in outlining regions while they are pursuing their studies. We look at the accommodation for the students who are out of, who come from out of the region, out of region, you know, from regions 1, 2, they tell me region 9, 10, 7. And um, I think we, we need to look at, in, in the medium and long term, the possibility of converting some of the buildings here into a dormitory for the students. That would ensure, first of all, not only uh, the, the, the development of camaraderie, you know, the kind of uh, mixture of cultures that could enhance the type of uh, personalities that would be necessary for the, uh, a changing public service in Guyana. Neola Damon, InfoHub.